This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 63. How to start the day with maximum focus by Robert D. Smith with goodlifezen.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, welcome to a Wednesday edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best blogs covering health and fitness, just like an audiobook. In case you didn't know, I'm Dr. Neil, and also... If you didn't know, this is one of three podcasts where we read blogs to you. There's also Optimal Living Daily, where my brother reads to you posts about personal development, and there's Optimal Finance Daily, which obviously covers personal finance. And when I say my brother reads to you posts, I am actually talking about my brother, not just somebody who's really close to me that I call brother. He is my biological brother. So definitely check those out too if you like the format of this show. Today's inspirational quote comes from Vince Lombardi. Perfection is not attainable. But if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. All right, let's get to the post and start optimizing your life. How to Start the Day with Maximum Focus by Robert D. Smith with goodlifezen.com. How do you feel when you wake up every morning? Are you tired, longing for another hour of sleep, or are you energized and excited for the new day's possibilities? The attitude you possess when you start the day affects you much more than any cup of coffee ever will. Take a moment to think back to when you were a little kid. You weren't excited to get up and go to school Monday morning, so it was hard to get out of bed regardless of how much sleep you got the night before. But on Christmas morning, it didn't matter if you got eight hours of sleep, which is never the case, or one hour of sleep. You were up and ready to go with a huge smile on your face. You had a single, exciting thought planted in your brain open as many presents as I can get my hands on. Somewhere along the way, though, we seem to lose that childlike Christmas morning enthusiasm that kept us up late and woke us up early. Wouldn't you like to have it back and not just on Christmas morning? What if that energy and enthusiasm could translate to an average day in your life? It can. Quote, the first hour of the morning is the rudder of the day. Henry Ward Beecher. By starting each morning focused, the overarching vision you have for your life will become much clearer, real, and achievable. Here are four things you can do every morning to get your day started off on the right foot. Number one, start with gratitude. No day is guaranteed. Every new day you are given the opportunity to start is a gift. When you view it that way, more chances, opportunities, and unexpected privileges present themselves. When you start your day with gratitude, you arm yourself against whatever negativity the next 24 hours might have in store for you. Problems will seem smaller, challenges will seem less difficult, and the good things will shine even brighter. How do you go about creating the sense of gratitude? Begin operating under the very real concept that this day could be your last. You'll develop an intense sense of urgency and gratitude from your first waking moment. Live this day as if it were your last, maybe the oldest cliche in existence, but there's a reason why. If you can make it part of your everyday mindset, your days will absolutely not be the same again. That's where most people get it wrong. They hear, live this day as if it were your last, and immediately begin making a mental list of all the actions they would begin taking. But it's not about action. It's not about going skydiving or blowing off your day job. It's about mindset. It is a way of thinking that keeps you focused on the things that truly matter in life and nothing else. And it will keep your thoughts in a place of gratitude like nothing else can. Two. Act the way you would like to feel. If you don't feel happy or energetic, start by simply acting like you do. William James, the father of modern psychology, has a quote I love. Quote, we do not sing because we are happy. We are happy because we sing. End quote. Emotion follows action. It's not the other way around. Keep that quote in mind anytime you wake up feeling grumpy, tired, or any other type of negative emotion. Jump up and down. Turn on music that you know puts you in a good mood. Smile. Laugh. They may feel forced at first, but the genuine ones are sure to follow. Three, meditate on the things you know need to happen today. Use these two questions to prioritize every task on your to-do list. One, what's important now? And two, what's next? These two questions will wake you up early, keep you up late, and allow you to stay focused on your top priorities and nothing else. Forget all the elaborate to-do list systems that are out there. 
These two little questions are all you need. You will no longer waste time by sitting around wondering where you should start. Look at your list of tasks, address each item with these two questions, and then move forward on each one with massive action. And number four, go to bed in the mood in which you would like to wake up. The reality is that no one actually wakes up in the morning on the wrong side of the bed. We actually go to sleep on the wrong side of the bed. Your subconscious mind plays an enormous role in determining how you feel in the morning. If you go to bed full of anger and negativity, you're probably not going to wake up in anything resembling a good mood. How do you combat this? By not only doing every previous item on this list when you wake up, but also right before bed. Think about all you have to be grateful for. Put yourself in a positive mental state and start preparing a mental plan for the next day. Read or watch something positive and inspiring. The morning may be the rudder of the day, but night is the rudder of the morning. Never go to bed angry may sound like something your mom or a marriage counselor would tell you, but there is tremendous truth behind that piece of advice. When you start each day with focus, life and purpose become clearer. Precious time is no longer squandered on avoidable, drag-you-down activities or tasks. Focus allows you to understand the value offered with each and every passing minute. Apply these four actions or add them to your current routine and you will be amazed by the results. You just listened to the post titled How to Start the Day with Maximum Focus by Robert D. Smith with goodlifezen.com. Now that was a post from a guest author on Good Life Zen. Robert D. Smith is the author of 20,000 Days and Counting, a crash course in living each day with maximum intensity and purpose. He also blogs about personal growth, entrepreneurship, and lots more at therobertd.com. Now, as I think about this post, I first must mention that I love he mentioned Christmas. I actually should have worn my Clark W. Griswold shirt today. That would have been really appropriate. But he's so right. When I was a kid, Saturday mornings, I would have no problem being up at 5 a.m. to catch the very first cartoons that would pop up on my TV screen. But on school days, my mom had to pull me or drag me out of bed at eight o'clock. And I love his advice about waking up in the morning. What I've actually started doing is playing my favorite Pandora station the first thing when I get up. It always makes me happy. I find myself singing along and all of a sudden the day looks so much brighter. I also really appreciated how he said to ask yourself two questions to prioritize every task on your to-do list. Ask yourself what's important now and what's next. I actually read a 300-page book on how to prioritize events in your life. I barely got through the book and I don't do any of the things suggested there. But what Robert mentioned in his post, I can do. That's feasible to me. That's realistic. In fact, I'll try it out this week and see how it goes. And once again, if you like the format of this show, check out Optimal Living Daily to learn more about habit building, minimalism, mindfulness, productivity, and lots more. And also check out Optimal Finance Daily to learn more about personal money management. That wraps up today's episode. I'll be back tomorrow with a post from regular contributor, Ben Greenfield. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.